this is Dr. Shaheen here and I'm a dentist by profession and I'm an oral hygienist for uh, the trust named the Lalita Rao Charitable Trust which is headed by Mr. Ramakrishna Rao sir and it's been a year since I'm attached to this trust the whole journey has been amazing all through uh, I strongly believe in this uh, words uh, be the change you wish to see in the world which was quoted by the great Mahatma Gandhi and uh, I felt like making this awareness video so that even if a single person out there watches this video and they change, that's a true success to me. Today I'm going to talk about hygiene. As we all know, it's a set of practices which we do daily to stay healthy and stay disease free. Hygiene is just not a luxury, it's a necessity, especially during these pandemic times where we all know that we all need to be healthy and clean. That's the only defense we have in fact against this pandemic. Uh, see, I'll be talking about some few basic things which I'm sure we all will be knowing. So there will be a few things which I'll be talking about. Uh, first, the first and the foremost that comes in hygiene is your hand wash. Hand wash is a must and mandatory. <clears throat> That's the only difference which helps you in keeping the microbes away and keep you disease free. Make sure you wash your hands well wash them for at least 20 seconds and make sure that you wash all the areas of your hand like the upper surface the lower surface in between your fingers around your fingernails and make sure you scrub them well for 20 seconds and till then you can just uh, play a birthday song in your mind happy birthday twice and then by then uh, you'll be over uh, so this is the best way to protect yourself from uh, diseases from the current pandemic whatever is going on once you take bath daily and then uh, second thing is that you should uh, keep your hairs clean, shampoo them well. Uh, one thing you should keep in mind that don't use too much of a uh, concentrated uh, shampoo. You can always add water to the shampoo and use. And uh, make sure you use shampoo twice or thrice a week. And oiling you can do for your hairs uh, once or twice a week, which will keep your hairs healthy and shining. And uh, one more thing uh, I would like to add up is uh, uh, that you should keep your nails clean because uh, even if you have long nails also make sure you keep them clean and trim them well because that's another source of infection uh, transmission to your body another thing i would like to mention is your clothes make sure you wear clean clothes and make sure you maintain your clothes well keep them in a cupboard <clears throat> which is aerated and make sure that you hang them in closets and don't, don't just dump them inside the cupboard because it starts stinking and then uh, make sure your body is clean free of hairs uh, Make, uh, you can just get it, uh, you know, your hairs removed by a blade or any waxing cream, any hair removal cream, and um, that will keep you odorless. Now, coming to the oral hygiene, uh, when you have oral hygiene in mind, I guess the preventive measures is a key to success. Uh, you should always make sure that you take care of your teeth when you are young. <clears throat> At an early age, when you take care of your teeth, you will be devoid of all the complications in the old age, like will end up with the uh, recession of gums or you'll have a uh, premature uh, uh, smiling, uh, premature aging of smile. So all that uh, are very expensive uh, corrective procedures which you need to do. So in order to avoid that, you better take care of your teeth at a very young age. So now I'll be talking about the most important uh, part of our oral hygiene routine that is brushing. Uh, brushing, uh, you should make sure that you brush twice a day, uh, no matter what time of the day it is, but make sure that you do it after your meals, when you eat your food. The second thing that you should take care about is the kind of brush you'll be using. It should be a soft brush, never go for a hard brush because it causes abrasion. And then uh, the third thing which you have to keep in mind is the quantity of the paste you will be using. The quantity shouldn't be more than a peanut, size of a peanut. And then uh, the fourth thing which you should be taking care of is that you should never do overbrushing. Uh, never uh, overbrush your uh, teeth because it causes abrasion, it causes chipping and that will end up with sensitivity. So it's not right. So you should always be very gentle to your tooth and uh, do your brushing very softly. And now the fifth thing which I'll be talking about is the technique of brushing. Technique is always you should put your brush at 45 degree angulation to your tooth and make sure you do rounded strokes on each tooth and make sure that you cover all the surfaces of the teeth of the upper and the lower side <coughs> and then uh, the most important thing which i want to tell you is that please make sure that you change your brush after three months because it gets worn out and you shouldn't use worn out brushes 
Now another thing I'll be talking about is flossing, which you should make sure that you get it done before brushing. And uh, uh, flossing is nothing but it is a procedure wherein we remove <coughs> the bacteria and the food in incidental spaces where the brush doesn't reach. And uh, this is a floss which is uh, which is available in the market. You can get it anywhere. And uh, the way how we do it. Now I'm going to explain you the way we do uh, flossing. Uh, just uh, remove the thread from there. Uh, we have two types of uh, this uh, flosses in the market available. One is waxed and another is unwaxed. Uh, go for uh, whichever is comfortable for you. Usually we use a waxed one. And then uh, the procedure how we do it is we just remove an 18 inch thread from this floss and then wrap it around your middle fingers on either hands and then uh, just put it inside your uh, interdental space in between your two teeth <coughs> and do up and down motion back and forth motion and then same way you repeat for all the teeth but make sure you don't use the same thread for every teeth keep changing the thread uh, one of the advantages of uh, flossing is that it, uh, it uh, prevents you from halitosis. Halitosis means nothing but a bad breath. So it makes your, it just keeps you clean and makes your breath fresh. Oh, yeah, another thing I would discuss uh, about is uh, the rinsing. Uh, the areas where the brushing and the flossing doesn't help, cannot reach, uh, rinsing comes into the picture. So we can uh, go for a very uh, good mouth wash, any mouth wash, which is fluoride based and which is easily available in the market. Uh, make sure you don't use the mouthwash in a concentrated form. Add equal amount of water, the quantity you are using, add equal amount of water to that and just uh, put it inside your mouth after brushing <coughs> and swish it over and then just spit it off. Uh, so it's actually antiseptic and it keeps your uh, breath fresh and odorless. Uh, one should have a balanced diet. You should make sure that you eat a lot of vegetables. You should uh, eat a lot of fruits and make sure you include whole grains in your diet. And then dairy products should be included. And um, yeah, and, uh, then you should make sure that you should have at least eight glasses of water a day. That will keep you hydrated. And uh, never ignore your exercises. Please go for an exercise at least minimum 30 minutes. You should exercise a day. And then try to uh, try to keep your life as stress-free as possible. I know it's not possible, but try your best to stay stress-free, and that will help you to boost your immunity. Uh, one more thing which you have to take care about is your sleep. Your sleep is precious. You need to sleep for at least eight hours a day. Your body needs rest. When you stay clean, you're more confident in your skin. It not only boosts up your self-esteem, but you are contributing to the community as well. You're keeping your surroundings clean and you know when you're clean you're respected in the society and then at the same time you're helping the people also to stay disease free so the cleaner you the healthier you the healthier communities we have